the metal has to be shaped to the shape of the file first. It comes to the file maker in lengths of uh, rod of about seven or eight meters long. Uh, and in the sections, as we call it, this is hand section, this is, this is a hand file by its shape. That's what the file manufacturer has uh, to start with. And he cuts this material off in certain lengths according to what the size of the file has to be. And then the first stage is the, after that is to get this piece of steel and forge on what's known as the tang. That's where the handle fits. So this is the forging. And after it's forged, the blank has to be annealed, which means that it has to be softened so that it is of even hardness or softness or throughout the length uh, of, of the file. Uh, after annealing, uh, the blank, as it's called, the forging, is then ground. Uh, the grinding wheels would be about four, four foot diameter. They, were, they used to be done freehand, and latterly, after uh, about the mid 19th century, uh, machines came to be used, so they were machine ground. The flat surfaces uh, are not normally quite flat, and in order to, for the teeth, the surface of the blank, to be perfectly flat, the operation is what's called stripping. The way this is done, uh, so, or was done in the old days, uh, what happened, they got a file that had been ground, they put it in this stripping frame, which is, you can see, just a block of wood. And what they did, they put the file blank in there, that's held on there, the file, and it is rubbed backwards and forwards like that. And by that means, this surface remains entirely flat across its width. So the file teeth are cut uh, equally, both sides. So that's the stripping, which is the process immediately before cutting. So we start at the point of the file and having the little finger, we, we should actually have an oil patch and slightly oil the file. But because it's a bit uh, oily, I'm going to miss that part out. I'm bouncing, you see. Do a turn the other side. If you want, you want to do yeah, something here. Yeah, yeah. So that's showing the cutting of the file. The next is hardening, which is a process we can't show you, but they heat the file up to uh, what was called cherry red. It was done by Ally in a dark, I call it a workshop, hardening shop was the name. The file will be put in a, in a, a furnace, a fire, and when it's red hot of even heat throughout, it is then quenched either in water with salt, or it would be water with salt in it. That would harden the file Sheffield is in, used to call glass hard, very hard indeed. But leaving the file in that manner would make the teeth extremely hard and in use they would break very easily. And in order to stop that happening, they were tempered, which means putting them in another furnace and quenching and getting them hot, uh, not as hot as the first one, and then dipping them in whale oil. And the whale oil was not quite so keen as the salt water, and it made the steel a little bit softer.